come say hello? Come here. Yeah. You sit down. Oh, here he is, the main man himself, Miss Barney. And he's doing well. For all of those wondering, his post-op progress is going good. Look at that big floof of a tail. Right, let me go put you back in with Dad and then I'll get on with the haul finally. Okay, if you hear tradesmen in the background, I can only apologise. Bear with me. So close to being upstairs now that it's very exciting. We're pretty much there, to be honest with you, if you've been following along our renovation journey. So, in light of that, we've been to B&M. We've stocked up on some new homeware bits, some snacks, some cleaning bits. We've got actually some really yummy snacks. And a few Christmas bits. <laughs> Yes, I said it. Christmas. So if you haven't already, make sure you're set and cosy and relaxed and chilled with your favourite drink of choice. Get some snacks because otherwise you're going to feel pretty hungry watching this video. Just going to say that. This is future Freya jumping in here. I've just had a delivery. I've opened it up. It's from b &M. So... I'm gonna carry on with the haul as normal, but then if you wanna see this little PR Christmas package that they very kindly sent me, which has just arrived, then I'm gonna unbox it with you guys so um, you can see some of the potential new in Christmas goodies from B&M. So yeah, stay tuned for that at the end of the video. They were just putting out the Christmas things when I went in, so I managed to get a couple of bits. I always like to do some kind of a gift guide into November time usually so as we get a bit close to Christmas I'll definitely be going back and definitely be stocking up on more but here's just kind of like a taster of it so I feel like we might as well start with do 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 so let's actually start with the most festive things that I did pick up so the first thing is some gift bags and gift wrap they had some which i don't remember from last year so these bigger ones were 89p each and these are the sort of things i like to just keep stockpile as and when i see nice gift bags these ones i loved the design of both of these so this first one simply says merry christmas in a kind of gold font with a few very subtle little berries and foliage on there festive foliage 89p is a good price point as well i'm happy with that this one is all cream with the gold again it's kind of like a gold foil so really really pretty it says it's the season for warm and fuzzy feelings how cute is that i also picked up a bottle bag always handy to have a bottle bag for like the people that you gift if you're going to for food or drinks and you just want to take a bottle with you 79p their bottle bags are and this kind of fits with the first one this one says may your days be merry and bright i did pick up one gift card for my little stockpile collection it's not festive at all it's just adorable 99p and it's got these cute little lab puppies on how adorable are they Ugh, I mean, it's just a blank card. <laughs> How could I say no to this? Let's face it. Dog obsessed over here. I picked up one festive mug. My first of, I'm sure, what will be many this year. I do love a good festive mug. So this one says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. It's got a beautiful, it needs to colour correct itself here. It's got a beautiful gold rim design. It's kind of in the shape of the Emma Bridge water mugs, if you're a fan of those. And it's from the Winter Robin range, and it's called a tank mug. £2.50 this one was. And a really nice kind of stone colour. It's not your stereotypical bright white. Now, these festive finds, I was a very happy about they have some new wax melts from their own range and they sound oh amazing so we have this one which is in fireside marshmallow love it's kind of like a sweet fire <laughs> one pound fifty and there's nine in there however this one is just divine i'm very tempted oh very tempted to go back for the candle i'm obsessed with pine scented things especially at christmas and this one is in the scent evergreen it's honestly just beautiful i mean i did do a whole entire 
pine scented speed clean with me last year. Okay, speaking of that kind of scent, I picked up a Yankee candle. So if you don't know, B&M actually do stock Yankee candles, these are big kind of jars, which usually retail for 20 to 30 pounds. In B&M they're 15 pounds. And I had this one previous in a previous year. So I decided to pick it up again. It's in Fireside Treats. So it kind of complements this one quite nicely. The Fireside Marshmallow scent from B&M itself. This is very similar. So I also did pick up three other Yankee Candle products. These little votives. I ended up using these so much last year. Like throughout the seasonal times. Home bargains just have amazing stock. B&M do too, apparently. I don't think I've ever bought a Yankee Candle votive from B&M before. This one is in Snow in Love. They had one of these in a big jar candles as well. This one is in Pecan Pie Bites. Yum. Good colours that I went for. Can you see here? The kind of neutral, autumn-y, seasonal colours. And then Surprise Snowfall. It's always really hard to tell what they smell like from just the... I feel like you need to get them burning so you can really get the, the scent of them. Okay, another seasonal scented product. We've got clue, a clue to cleaning products. This one oh, just filled my heart with joy. They seem to have had all of the Christmas Caesar floras out all year round this year, I've noticed. However, I never found this scent last Christmas and it's the Frosted Peppermint. So they had these in the large sizes. These ones are 500 mils, and I think they're three, are they 3.99 from B&M? I think they are. Did I get it last year? I'm just having a bit of a moment where I'm just doubting myself. I don't think I did. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you remember from last year. It smells like a candy cane. A festive twist of candy cane inspired notes with eucalyptus. Hints of dark chocolate, snowdrops, and vanilla. Okay, there was one other cleaning product that I found in like a festive scent. I've never used Surf before. Fingers crossed it's okay, because sometimes I do get a bit sensitive skin with stronger detergents. But this is a limited edition in Winter Sparkle. And as you can tell by the packaging, it's all types of festive with the clove, the fur, there's little um, star anise on there. So yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to show you this when I was showing you the wax melts. They had these little wax melt burners which were festive. This one with the Christmas tree at three pounds. Then they also had the um, same size, but I think it was a gingerbread man option. I just went for the Christmas tree. I think it's pretty. Okay, I've got a couple more home decor pieces. This was three pounds and I love the kind of artichoke design. It reminds me of Neptune Home. They obviously have those big artichokes and I just thought this was really pretty. So it's Set out as a tea light holder, three pounds. You could obviously just have it as a decorative piece on, stacked up on some coffee table books or on a decorative tray. Then I also picked up this glass hurricane. It's a ribbed candle holder. It's got this wooden base to it, which I really liked. That combined with the ribbed fluted glass is very much my style, my taste. Seven pounds also picked up this from the natural sanctuary range i actually got two products from the natural sanctuary range speckled canister it's called it's got this kind of mango colored wooded lid and it does have a seal so it feels like it's fairly airtight it's not that sticky though you know so i wouldn't trust it as being completely 100 percent airtight but it is really really nice that kind of speckled effect is really really pretty in contrast nicely with the smooth stone bottom so obviously you could maybe get three of these and put sugar tea and coffee in my intention initially was rather than the kitchen was maybe in a bathroom to have some little cotton buds or something within there we'll see and then this is for the kitchen although it would look really nice on a bath tray with some bath salts in that's an idea. Um, again, from the Natural Sanctuary range, this is an acacia dip bowl. So again, for the kitchen, it's good for um, a, like homemade guacamole you could put in this. You could use it as just like a seasonal bowl, like salt and pepper, or even some olive oil and balsamic vinegar for dipping your bread in, or just some little nuts and snacks and nibbles. I always love these kind of 
snack bowls. I actually have quite a collection, I'm not gonna lie. But I just like, I suppose it's like a mug. I like collecting them because then when you have your nibbles out, they look pretty as well. And speaking of nibbles, the last few bits that we have are some yummy treats. I'll show you these two first. I've seen quite a few of the home bargain stores getting these stock in of the Terry's Chocolate Orange and White Chocolate. These little orange mini segments and they also have the actual chocolate bar as well. I also saw these which I've never seen before. I love a Kit Kat Chunky, but these ones are actually cookie dough Kit Kat Chunky. I think they had like a popcorn, a salted popcorn or something as well. Oh, and then again, sticking with the white chocolate lovers, I mean, if ever you've tried these Maltesers truffles, they're amazing. I'm sure you would agree. However, they now do them in white chocolate. I don't remember seeing these last year because I think they brought them out around Christmas time. They've got the little snowflakes on, so they are kind of a festive edition snack. But they have this creamy kind of truffle in a... The last food item that I picked up is from the Marketplace by Hampton range, established 2020. I feel like this is just a B&M brand, I think. So they have these sets in the seasonal aisles as gift ideas. They have like bigger selections, they have smaller ones, they have just the chutneys. Just like they do every year, they have within the gift aisle these kind of things. But this for me isn't just a Christmas gift. This is just like a good autumn Sunday lunch when you're just fancying a cheese board, which we actually have quite often with a glass of red wine. Um, I thought this would go really nicely on that. It's only three pounds for the set. And within here you get oven baked crackers, you get a cheese board chutney and a caramelized onion chutney. And this is good until September 2022. So plenty of time on the sell by date. And last but not least, I picked up this, which is a four pack of seed lip gin and cucumber tonic. Seed lip gin is actually non-alcoholic. There is 0% alcohol in. So I like this for if you've, you know, if I've got the girls coming over, we all want a G&T, but they're all having to drive. This is a good option for maybe if you want one G&T, but then afterwards you can feel like you're drinking gin and tonic, but they're just alcohol free. However, I got ID'd for this. And the woman was like, can I see your ID? And I was like, to be honest, I didn't even clock that it was for these. And I was like, ID, what for? And, and then she, when she pointed these out, I was like, oh, it's alcohol free. I mean, I have my idea, I can show you. But she was like, no, 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 they, they'll, they'll have some alcohol in. And I was like, no, non-alcoholic. <laughs> She's like, yeah, but usually they have like point something percent, so we still have to ID. And I was like, no, zero percent alcohol, non-alcohol. Served chilled or with a sugar snap pea over ice. Anyway, sea lip gin is really good, even though it is non-alcoholic, it does taste lovely. So, and it's kind of pricey as well. For an actual bottle of seed lip gin, even though it's non-alcoholic, it's pretty much the price of an actual gin anyway. So, saw these in B&M for bargain price point, let me see, 2 dollars for a set of four. And I think they had them on offer for single cans as well. You didn't have to buy a full set of four and they were, under a pound each, so it's 79p each or something. So yeah, I picked up the set for. I'm actually regretting not picking up more because I do feel like if you're hosting and having that as an option, then maybe more than four cans would be better. So back to this box of goodies, which b and very kindly sent. Christmas is definitely here. This is my first Christmas present, what feels like it. They have a few different collections that they are kind of focusing on for Christmas. This one in particular is the one that they've decided to send out to me, the Comfort and Joy. A couple of products from this range. Features natural materials, snug fabrics, from wooden mantle decorations to eucalyptus wreaths. So we have this Christmas ribbon, which I have to say is beautiful. It's very minimal in design. It's kind of a champagne gold, just says Merry Christmas. I love that font, that Christmas font, love that. So these are three for five pounds or two pounds each. They've also sent this gorgeous little faux fur stocking with pom-poms at five pounds. 
again the comfort and joy range so it's like a gray faux fur with these little white pom-poms stocking so cute and in the same fabric they've also sent the luxury faux fur tree skirt at 10 pounds so it's the exact same material it's super soft and cozy i absolutely love it and then next up is this gorgeous little wooden tree decoration that you could have stacked on your mantle i just think it's so beautiful it's got kind of frosted detailing on the actual pine leaves if you can see there on a little log so cute i love it and you guys know i like to do my christmasy scene with the uh, ceramic white houses that i have so that could look quite nice with them now i'm very excited for these decorations they remind me of some that h&m did last year and they've also got them online again this year except these are definitely more affordable you get a pack of six for four pounds i particularly love this set which comes with two cream two sage and two forest green ones which as you guys know is definitely a color that we're incorporating more within this house all the creams greens very may but then they also have this set of six as well with a kind of salmon pink and a real rich scarlet red in there along with the cream as well and then i think we've got a couple of other baubles in here this one priced at two pounds is a gorgeous amber glass hanging a decorative piece i love the fact that it's a jute ribbon and also it's kind of an antique brass topper honestly that in anthropology or something would not look out of place and would definitely be a lot more than two pounds we also have this bauble which is priced at two pound fifty this is a much larger one with a velvet kind of hanging piece in this beautiful rich kind of burnt orange color again with the brass top i think that makes a big difference when you have the hardware like this as opposed to silver especially if greys and silvers aren't in your home but i think that is a really nice alternative i love that and then the last bauble in here is again keeping in theme with that traditional green style we have this on a beautiful ganza ribbon again at £2.50 this one is another large bauble and how pretty is that design it's like little beads and very subtle hints of glitter white feathers oh i just all like leaves i should say just beautiful so yeah thank you so so much to b&m for sending me all these christmas goodies fills me with so much happiness and i definitely can't wait to head in store and shop the other ranges as well so stay tuned because i'm gonna have to if this is the sneak peek i'm gonna have to be heading back sometime soon to stock up on even more decorations so that is everything that i picked up this time round from bnm i hope you guys enjoyed this haul give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already it means so so much and it is completely free of charge you can also hit that notification bell so you can be notified as and when i upload which to be completely honest with you at this time of year is a little bit more sporadic as we get into november and october october and november <laughs> and December. Hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you very very soon in my next video. Bye guys!